In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new year slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the numbers started falling in and then a ribbon comes with some shadow effect and then the numbers are started blinking. You can see here something like this. You can make a, a beautiful slide for 2021 New Year celebration. And likewise, I've created a few more slides. You can see here this one without any animation, but I have used some golden background here, the gold background. And I've created some more also with more colorful. You can see here, this is also looks very good, which is uh, 2021, which is hanging with a thread. So when I click, then this started, you can see here blinking. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. You can join my WhatsApp group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light grade and fill background. Then go to insert text box here I'm going to type uh, 2021 so I'm going to add each number separately let me just type 2 and you can make it maybe right aligned and I'm going to choose the font called let me just choose some good font here you can see here there are a lot of good fonts I'm just going to select this one Adobe Gothic and then increase the font size you can see here depending on your requirement I'm going to make it this much and then I'm going to change the color to any gold color light golden or whatever color you like you can just change it then I'm going to give a 3d effect for that right mouse click go to format shape and you've got uh, two shape options here the shape options and the text option so you need to you need to go to the text options it should not be a uh, shape option so I'm going to select the text options and under text option i'm going to text effects and under text effects go to 3d rotation under presets scroll it down and i'm going to see this oblique you can see here i'm just going to select this all right and then you have got the rotation x y and z rotation whichever rotation depending on your requirement we can just uh, increase or decrease the rotation size so i'm just going to you can see here if i just make something like this it is rotating here but if you want to make it kind of a 3d look you have to go to 3d format and depth you need to increase it maybe i'm going to increase say of 40 something like this or or more than that maybe i'm going to make it 50 also and then just scroll it down and then again as i said how you want to place it depending on your requirement whichever way you want you can do it and then again go back to the uh, this one the 3d format here the lighting i'm going to choose this one you can see a warm sunrise so it gives a kind of and material anything you can choose not a problem with that one so something like this you can make it and put it here again if you want you can increase the size also now i'm going to put the zero here press ctrl d and just change to zero you can see here and bring it here and then here i'm going to make it more uh, kind of uh, let me just go to the text options again again this one scroll it down you can see here you can either move up and down like this whichever way you want and here i'm just going to make it more to this side something like this you can see here or lesser than that something like this you can just put it here again if you want so you can see here you can make it up down again something like this so many things you can do with this rotations maybe i'm going to keep this one add it here again press ctrl d to duplicate this one again this will be 22 only sorry two only then this one again i can just change the direction something i want to go this inside something like this all right so or this is let me just move it a little bit something like this here and this one maybe i can make it more inside look you can see here something like this and this one i can make it more the outer look like this and then press ctrl d and this one i'm going to type one only here 
and then just add the one like this so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size see here i can just increase the size if i want or reduce the size reduce the size based on the requirement so once this is done i'm going to add a shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the basic the oval shape from the basic shapes shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select black color and under shape option i'm going to increase the transparency and then you go to the effects under soft edges increase the size so you can see here and then just move it here and then send this to back so you can see here i've added some uh, this to 2021 with the shadow effect now you can add some more shades to it now i want to add one more kind of a light effect where i want to do the animation so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d you can see here the first thing you have to go to the text options go to the effects and under 3d format you remove the depth make it to zero something like this and then go to the text fill here and then i'm going to select the gradient fill and the gradient fill here i'm going to select the type as the linear all right and then i can just choose anything here so the first one i'm going to make it a white and the second one i'm going to choose some golden color here like this and the third one or i can only make it two and the third one i'm deleting you can see here i'm going to make it a white more kind of a white and then trans transparency for this golden i'm going to make it to 100 percent now what i'm going to do just i'm going to take this and put it here on second so if it is not clearly visible then what you can do is you can again go to this and maybe you can give some lighter color something like this you can see here something like this also it can be done so again i'm going to select this o or zero bring this to front so like this some shadow effect can be added and this shadow effect i'm going to or not the shadow effect or the glossy effect i'm going to add it for the animation purpose now i'm going to select this zero press ctrl d you can see here then again i'm going to the text make this again as usual the depth to zero and here i'm going to choose the gradient fill again let me just choose the gradient fill which is a light color here and darker color and this darker color i'm going to make it 100 percent you can see here and the type also i have to make it linear and i'm going to make something like this then just bring it on top of this so instead of bottom you can make it to top also let me just select this you can see here if you want you can give some gap also that also looks good so like this shadow effect or this glossy effect i'm going to do for the again for this again press ctrl d go to the text options remove the depth make it to zero and again give the gradient fill i'm going to type linear and again this one you can choose any of this again i'm going to give some golden color here this is the light golden color and the dark make it transparency to this one you can see here and then i'm just going to add it on top of this sorry i have just make I have to just choose some a different color here you can see here this is not clearly visible so i can just change the color and you can see here this one i'm going to make it the other side i can do also so whichever way you feel better you can just do it something like this and then put it on this one and then do the similar thing for the the one also so you can see here the shiny look is there for all the numbers now now it's time to add a kind of a golden ribbon for that go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select this curve and again you can start anywhere just click it you can see here something like this you need to just make it and i'm going to do it something here like this and double click sorry so we end up getting this one then this here i'm going to the shape and the line i'm going to increase the width you can see here depending on your requirement you can increase the width something like this 
maybe I can increase further also and then what you can do is I'm going to select the gradient fill now the gradient fill I'm going to choose the color combination of dark and the light gold color so first I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select one dark one here again here I'm going to choose one light color see again dark color light color so like this you can add as many you can see here again I'm going to add some dark color so depending on your requirement you can add as many as you want so once this is done I'm going to save this now what happens here is I want to just you know bring this with between the the numbers so but I cannot do that one because the moment I send this back if you see here if I send this back everything goes you know backside of this one so and I want to bring it within this numbers you know it is going from back uh, the, the back side of the two and then from the zero it is coming out like that effect I want to give but I cannot do that one unless and until I copy this you can see here again right mouse click and paste as an image you can see here this is the image I have pasted why I did like that because it is easy for me to cut from the wherever I want for this one I cannot do that one so what I'm going to do but one thing you have to keep remember that the once you save as a picture then it cannot be edited you know you cannot do any additions there you cannot add you can see here all this one again you have to do it from the beginning so let me just delete this bring this here now all right so now I want to give a look where the ribbon is going from the behind of the two and then it is coming from inside of the the here from the zero something like this okay let me just move somewhat down so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to zoom in a little bit then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select this freeform shape you can see here the freeform shape i'm going to choose till here like this you can see here and like this so now what happened here is i'm going to select this ribbon select this shape or if you want to make this also for example from the one also it is going from behind so that also i'm going to choose right now go to insert shapes again select the freeform shape again which is starting from here all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this ribbon hold the shift key select this two you can see here go to format merge shape you can see here i can just make it subtract so this becomes something like this can you see here but it looks like okay this is going something like this you know and if you want to cut from the second point also you can cut also that also looks good but this is also looking good so this way you can do the the ribbon kind of thing and it when you do the animation it looks very good also so and one more thing you can do like a broken pieces of the ribbon also you can do it with the help of this of uh, this one the curve shape you can see here i can just make something like this you can see here something you have to keep on making one by one maybe five or or ten or fifteen depending on your requirement so just make it different different shapes so let me just select this one again and you can see here so like this you need to make so many pieces so that you know for example i'm just going to make it four i'm going to select this four shape outline make it no outline and shape field you can give any golden color like this you can group this together and hold the shift key if you want you can reduce it again press ctrl d you can like this you know you can just add as many as you want again ctrl d you can see here something like this it can be done and the last part is you can add the happy new year text there and for example let me just show you text i'm just going to type happy sorry spelling mistake happy new year and then i'm going to choose the font called the hand of sean you can see here again golden color and increase the size something like this and put it here so now uh, I need to do the animations when I'm going to do the animation you can see here uh, let me just send this back for the or I'll just move this aside 
later on and then for this also i'm just going to move this you can see here i'm going to move this because i'm going to give two different animations so i'm going to give two animations the first animation for this and then the second animation for this so first animation for this let me just close the format background and go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation go to the more entrance effect and just click on just scroll down and you can see here drop so it comes something like this and double click if you want by letter or the the how you want fast very fast you know depending on your requirement you can just do it so it comes something like this so again i'm just going to select this animation painter click on zero you can see here and this should happen after previous again clicking on two you can see here and then the one something like this and then you can add the animation which is the fade effect and this should happen after previous and now i'm going to add the animation for the ribbon you can see here i'm just going to bring the ribbon and exactly paste it so it looks something like this so that you know and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a wipe effect for this you can simply go to the wipe you can see here and make it from left so it looks something like this all right and this also make it after previous so you can see here now i want to add the animation for this but i cannot select this one so again i'm going to move it up so let me just bring this to here and exactly put it here on the the original the here on the two and then what i'm going to do is add animation go to the more emphasis effect and click on blink you can see here blink and double click this timing you can make it fast very fast and the repeat until end of the slide so it keeps on blinking all right so now i'm going to select this zero and again going to put it here and again using this animation painter i'm going to copy this one so you can see it started blinking and this should happen maybe after previous and this should happen with previous and then you can give some delay here and again let me just copy this animation painter on this sorry i have to copy the animation painter on this one so again select this and click on this you can see here bring it here and this should happen again a delay of more than one second and the last one which is one again this also you put it here and this also you delay more than that now the last one i'm just going to bring it again to its place something like this and even this also you can animate so for example i'm just going to group this you can see here and maybe you can give a fade effect and this should happen here i'll just say with previous or after previous also you can do it not a problem so let me just show you how it looks now so you can see here this 2021 it's visible but let me just you can see here something like this it is coming all right now what we need to do is if though if you don't want this particular things to be visible so what i have to do is i have to just make one one more appear function uh, animation for that one so again i have to take it down or we can do the animation later for also this also but we have added before so this one also you can just make it add animation appear and appear i'm going to just put right above this one and i will just say with previous all right so if i see here not two is not visible so likewise i just need to add the animation which is appear for one by one for all and then you can just put it exactly on the top of that so this is the way you can just add the animation effect to this